welcome to my overview, I guess, of Linux Mint 21.1. So uh, right off the bat, uh, something that stands out to me and probably to most people familiar with with Linux and uh, Linux Mint is that there are uh, there's new theming going on. So uh, for example, well, aside from the theming, there's also uh, new things on the on the panel. So there is now a show the desktop button on the right hand on the lower right hand side of the screen. So what that does is if you have apps open, for example, you know the terminal and the the file manager here, you click on it and it minimizes all windows. There's also a a separator on the bottom left hand corner of the screen that separates your start menu from the launchers from the pinned apps. Uh, another thing that's new about this OS or this you know version of the of the of the operating system is that there is now a new uh, theme or new themes. So as you can see, uh, gone is the is the green of back in the day. You know you remember uh, the green folders, the green accent colors. Um, and it's now been replaced, so there is now a more manila, more manila looking folders, and also uh, the accent color is now aqua. So that is now the default theming here in Linux Mint. And I just want to show you some other things. There's also a new cursor, a new cursor theme. It's called the Bottom Modern Classic, and uh, there is there are now you know plenty of different um, cursors to choose from. You could also choose from the old school uh, DMZ white and black cursors. And um, so one of the new things, uh, one of the things that is new about the new, um, the new theming is that the colors are now more vibrant. So if you compare, for example, this, uh, this blue over here to this blue right here, um, you can see that the blue over here is much more uh, vibrant, you know, than the than the flatter, you know, more muted blue over here of the of the legacy of the legacy themes. So they've kept in the legacy themes. So you could, you know, if you like those better, you could choose those. If you like the new ones better, you could just, you know, leave the new ones. And one thing that I personally like is that they now have a. Uh, a light version of the panel that's not Mint X. So the difference between Mint Y and Mint X is that Mint X has a lot of you know gradients. You know, it's less flat. This one is you know just basically all out flat. And if you know you if you pick uh if you pick it, it looks a lot like you know the default Windows theme, right? <laughs> so I think it looks good. I think uh, that was a nice addition to. Uh, this new version update of Linux Mint. You know, usually with point one releases, you get like incremental updates, incremental changes. These are like pretty huge changes, I would say. Uh, so I'm gonna change this to a dark theme because that is my preference, and I'll see you when I have changed it. So I've now changed everything to a dark theme because you know, you know, I prefer a dark theme. Um, and I think the dark theme looks good. It looks nice. I've changed the cursor to the old school one because I prefer it. Uh, and I've left everything on the modern type of dark theme. Let's move on to uh, the sounds. So um, now in Linux Mint, there are sounds that are taken from the Material Design V2 sound library, I guess. And in my opinion, they sound you know, they sound really nice. They sound they're more understated than the previous um, sounds that came with Linux Mint. Uh, the other ones were very loud, very, <laughs> very you know. I don't know how to describe. It. They were just really loud and really maximalist. These are like, a little bit more minimalist. A lot nicer in my opinion. See, so yeah, I'm I'm glad that they actually changed the sounds. But one of the other new things 
is that there is now a verification tool um, baked into the the right click menu in Linux Mint. So, for example, if you right click on this you know ISO file, you get taken to a uh, verification a screen. Uh, right now it doesn't work because I don't have like the right you know stuff for the for the verification to take place. But if you, for example, have the 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 regular, I downloaded the the Mate version of Linux Mint. But if you have the Cinnamon version, it should be able to verify it um, instantly. Uh, you could also verify things from you know, local files or a local checksum string. Like for example, you have this you paste it here and it'll you know check against it there is also now a new uh, USB image writer that uh, will no longer show you uh, an error if you if you uh, have a Windows if you try to burn a Windows ISO to a USB it will now um, so now it'll no longer sh just show you an error it'll like show you some resources of how you get maybe Windows onto a USB. So Driver Manager has gotten an update. Uh, it now runs in uh, user mode. So you no longer need a password to launch it. So it should be a lot less annoying now. It also shows you a dedicated screen if you're offline. And if it detects installation media from a USB, it'll now show you that installation media and that should make installing Broadcom, Broadcom drivers off uh, your USB a lot easier. So flat pack support has now been been added to update manager. So now uh, you can update your flat packs right from the update manager. So the software manager, which is different from the update manager, um, now uh, lets you distinguish between flat packs and uh, you know native, not native, but you know system apps. Uh, it makes that distinction more, you know, easier. So for example, G Thumb right here, you could, you know, it's a system package. You could also, you know, choose to install the flat pack from FlatHub. There are improvements now to Nemo, the file manager. For example, for example, now the date will be shown in a monospace font, make it, making it easier to read, at least in my opinion. And now if you click on the path bar, you should now be able to search, you know. You can also uh, click on anything and it'll go back to the, you know, the breadcrumb menu. Um, some other uh, updates include uh, Warpinator being um, a lot more secure now, apparently. If you use that, you know, web apps has some, some improvements to it. So Synaptic Package Manager now remembers your login, so you only have to uh, log in once, and every time, every subsequent um, login after that, or any subsequent time you open up Synaptic, you won't be uh, required a password. And also, removing a flat pack will no longer uh, prompt for a, a password to be entered. Um, although that, I think that's specifically if it's an app that is not you know system wide if it is a system wide app it'll it'll ask you for your password but if not if it's just a local app not installed for any other users it won't ask for a password so that's uh, all of the new stuff in Linux Mint 21.1 uh, so what do you guys think about this uh, this point one update um, do you think it looks better do you think it looks worse let me know in the comments I'll see you later peace Thank you.